So I don't think I'll be the first to tell you that FNAF Security Breach was sort of a failure, at least in comparison to all the other Five Nights at Freddy's games. But there has been a lot of news coming out recently that has even gone as far as saying that Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach could be fixed, and even potentially saved, especially after one of their last patches ever was released just earlier today. So FNAF Security Breach was released earlier this year, and this was coming after a bunch of different little delays, so there was a lot of pressure on Steel Wool to push out the game and fast. So in December of that that year a couple delays later the game actually came out and surprise surprise when the developers got rushed the entire game ended up being broken this came in ways like bugs tons of cut content a disappointing story and the list just goes on and on around this time it was honestly becoming popular to just make videos reviewing the game in a negative light and it's honestly pretty disappointing to see especially from a series with such a good reputation as FNAF it eventually got to the point where some thought that this could be the end of Five Nights at Freddy's entirely not necessarily because the story was finished, because it really never will be, but rather because the team in charge of this new game, Steel Wool Studios, hadn't made a product people were exactly happy with, which made everyone skeptical. Anyway, in the first few months, this game would get basically no support from the developers at all, unlike what you maybe would have expected. And turning over into 2022, we basically had nothing to show for this game in terms of improvements, which made it look even worse. However, no fear, because in late, late February, a patch for the game would finally release and despite it taking way too long to release it was incredibly extensive the patch released tons and tons of bug fixes that were meant to improve the game incredibly along with plans later to reduce the file sizes as that was another concern with security breach when it initially dropped along with bug fixes there were a few game mechanic changes as well for example adding a 50 manual save limit and actually implementing comedy bot show along with skippable cutscenes this update was incredibly huge and the response was pretty good but not perfect and of course twitter did what twitter does and they scoured the patch notes to find one minor thing that wasn't fixed and they complained about it over and over again but other than that this patch was still acceptable at least for the time being but something that people were showing more and more interest in is the famous or infamous fnaf security breach dlc this was something announced a while back and this dlc was supposed to expand upon the original security breach along with putting in some of the cut content that they didn't have time to optimize for the original game we didn't have too many specifics at the time, but the DLC was both exciting and upsetting. It was first exciting because it obviously meant new content, and it would give Security Breach to actually shine on its own, unlike what it had done during its actual release. And on the other hand, people found this to be pretty disappointing since they already paid $40 for this game, so it definitely felt a bit cheap to sell the cut content we should have gotten for free behind a presumed paywall. Questions about this DLC were really not being answered, but this would only be until May 30th of this year year, because Steel Wool would actually head to Twitter to show us something that I don't think any of us expected. That of which being a poster that actually detailed the first DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach by the name of the Ruined DLC. In the tweet, Steel Wool says, quote, returning guests will be granted free admission to the Pizzaplex, and if you think about that for a moment, it actually hints at the fact that FNAF Security Breach will be releasing free DLC for the game, rather than making us pay for it. And it's made even more obvious when at the bottom of the poster it says free DLC. This was an absolutely crazy announcement, and I think it was one that was well received from all angles. Another interesting part about this DLC was its release date, because I mean, it's kind of important to know when the game expansion will actually come out. And in the poster, we are given a release date that, given Steel Wolves track record, is more like a rough estimation, which is apparently sometime in 2023 next year, which is a long wait, but it's one that I think is pretty warranted. And as long as the DLC comes out working, then things should be okay. Especially since even though Steel Wool has made some big mistakes leading up to this announcement, it really does feel like they are learning from their past ways. But this seemed like it would be all that we would hear from Steel Wool for a while, since of course they now have a big DLC to work on. But in basically no time, in fact it could even be before this announcement actually happened, people started to notice a change to the console versions of Security Breach. There would be a random update released around this late May, early June area for console players, and it included a lot of changes that people were looking for in all versions so the word quickly spread to others and with no patch notes released people were just incredibly confused but luckily enough just about an hour ago my time we would get a brand new update from steel wool studios that tells us everything that we were looking for in terms of updates and what happened with the patch notes so steel wool started these notes off by saying that the reason why they released the version early for consoles was to add japanese optimization because the game apparently launched there recently i'd assume and they also mentioned that 
the patch notes were not fully completed therefore they didn't want to release them for everybody just yet but in this updated patch notes all the platforms would see the benefits this newest update by the way was even bigger than the last and some notable changes are the new game button won't override old saves they updated vanny's pathing in her boss battle they fixed the ui when using controller on pc they added haptic feedback on playstations helped improve cpu performance on ps4 as well which is huge stabilized ps5 and its frame rate in similar ways fixed multiple animatronic bugs that kept them from searching hiding spots fixed a ton of animation bugs and the list goes on and on there's so many bug fixes so i'm just gonna leave the rest in the description for you guys to read and dissect as you so please anyway something that's important about this update that steel will mentioned was that they were entirely content with the state of this game after this patch they did mention that it could still be better so there will be bug fixes here and there but they will most likely be way smaller and won't entirely change the gameplay almost like what normal patches are supposed to do so anyway with all these things being said and done what is the state of fnaf now well i think that things are looking relatively good for fnaf security breach mostly because they're building hype for their new content release in 2023 but also because this new update made security breach a lot more playable in terms of bugs sure people complained that it was six months coming but now that we are here and the game is fixed i don't think that there's really much to get upset about if i'm being honest at least in the gameplay side of things now does this inherently make security breach a love title not really if i'm being serious because while bugs and glitches were what made the game pretty bad on one half of the coin a lot of people subjectively did not like the way that the game was handled entirely because while the game now runs a lot better some people hate the entire concept of being in an open world at least for a fnaf game and the amount of open space and childish design that flooded the map made it pretty hard for some people to like the game no matter how good or bad the bugs were and another problem with the game is that the story was just not up to some people's standards and the weird comic book endings for example were pretty unimpressive and it almost feels like a cop out to making full-blown animations at least for some of the endings which is another thing that can't be fixed with some bug fix down the road not to mention that the lore just fundamentally disappointed a lot of people especially with characters like vanny not making as much of an appearance as you'd expect so this update won't be what those people were hoping for regardless at least in some aspects but that also doesn't mean that security breach isn't improving because for the most part the biggest objective view on this game was that it was over ambitious not really giving itself enough time to really develop into what it seemed like it originally was meant to be and while that was partially for the reasons i had already mentioned the bugs were another huge part of the argument that no longer seems to exist anymore but while the fnaf security breach game seems to be set in stone for at least a while now we also have to remember that the free dlc is dropping soon as well which unlike the bug fixes will be changing the way the game and story work at least to some degree so if those were the things that you were waiting for in fnaf security breach hopefully you won't be waiting too much longer and in the meantime we have ourselves what i consider to be at least a finished fnaf security breach so to those comments that said they were not gonna buy the game for how broken it is this may be your time to pick it up before the new dlc drops so that way you could be ready for what i think could be the redemption of fnaf security breach as a whole but i guess it's really too early to tell let me know if you like this new update and the dlc in the comments below because even though i was critical of the game before i do have to give credit to the work being put in to right the wrongs over at steel wool studios but we will just have to see what happens in the future with the dlc to find out subscribe in the meantime to not miss it and peace out